all shit. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Well, I guess it's time once again to review another fucking game that would make the choice between playing this game or sucking off a gorilla. And trust me, this game makes the gorilla look a whole hell of a lot cuter. Well, let's check it out. It's Lawnmower Man on the Super Nintendo. And yes, it's based on that movie. How in the fuck does one of the worst movies ever made get a goddamn fucking game, yet the Boondock Saints get diddly dick? Alright, let's get this piece of shit fired up. Alright, so it's the future, and I guess every motherfucker is using virtual reality to do what? Escape, play games, reenact historical events, have sex with squirrels, I don't know. There's some fucking debate about mind control or something, uh, Fuck it, let's start the game. Well, basically you get uh, a choice as playing uh, a guy or a girl. I assume they're the two sorry, sad sacks of shit they get to star in this movie. So I finally get to play this piece of shit. Okay, so I finally get to play the thing, and the first thing you're gonna do is die. That's fucking great. One hit fucking kills. That's about as much fun as getting a red-hot railway spike shoved up your goddamn taint. You know, if you want to make a game that's a Contra clone, or based on the Contra game, that's fine. But here's the thing. Do you think maybe they'd actually take what made Contra good and fun and put it into this game? Like, good control and the ability to shoot in all directions? But one can hope. Can't they? Of course, there's no chance of that. Along with one-hit kills, you can only shoot in one fucking direction. Straight ahead. I mean, most of the time in this game, this game would be so much easier if you could just shoot up, down, or all around. But... If they programmed that, that would mean the programmers actually gave a fuck. But then again, look at the movie it's based on. It is the only movie Stephen King sued to get his name off of. Okay, so the levels are basically the simple side-scroller. Shoot everything that moves and you reach the end of the level. Eventually you get to a portal-looking thing like this, and you'd think that was the end of the level. You just walk right through it. Well, this game supposes that you know two very, very big things. One, to shoot the fucking exit until it turns green. I'm gonna say that again. You shoot the goddamn exit. I didn't know anything about that. I kept going back thinking I had missed something. Secondly, it assumes that you know to push up on the controller to activate the fucking portal. How the fuck you supposed to know that? I mean, Jesus Christ, the, the end of the level makes about as much sense as a turtle fucking a whale. Think about that. So do you think that the biggest problem with this game is just that it's a shitty fucking Contra clone? No, that's not it. Because guess what? This piece of shit doesn't even know what in the flying fuck it wants to be. Because in between those little levels we play, we get charming little cutscenes like this. All of a sudden, this game goes into this god-awful, weird-ass 3D level. And guess what? The controls here are even worse. If you can believe that, the controls here are even worse. If you so much as breathe on the D-pad, you will be sent careening to the other side of the screen, and if you touch a particle of anything, you will be as dead as fried chicken. Then, to top it all off, as far as I could get in the game, you go into this weird shooting type level, and look at this shit. Am I playing fucking Atari? Fuck this game! And, that's Lawnmower Man. Does it suck? Well, yes it does. But on the way, a normal game sucks. Most games at least decide what type of fucking game they're gonna be. Are you going to be a fucking side-scrolling crappy Contra clone? Or are you going to be this half-assed, dumbass, half-baked fucking 3D shooter? Lawnmower Man, like, tries to do it all and fails miserably at all of it! When they were programming this piece of shit, I mean, what did this, what did this game do? Get passed around like a $10 fucking whore? 
when the sh when the Navy ships come in? What the fuck? This is what happens when a game tries to be everything. If you want to be a 3D pilot game, fine. If you want to be a fucking 3D shooter game, fine. If you want to be a side-scrolling action game, fine. But pick one and stick with it! And again, what the fuck were up with those stupid enemies? It was like I was playing the fucking Atari 2600. And I hate that piece of shit. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck Lawnmower Man and the dumbass pixelated horse it rode in on.